Yo, 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 what's going on, people? Boss Man CNB Outdoors. How everybody doing today? As you can see, it's still raining here in Texas. It's been raining off and on for about the for about two weeks now. Haven't I haven't really had a chance to get out and do no fishing, but I seen a few other guys. Hey, they out there getting in where they fit in, man. Put put your little rain suit on. Put your little rain suit on and hey, do what you gotta do. As long as it ain't lightning, you should be good to go. I've been having a lot of people, man, asking me about this camera that I got on the bow of my kayak. So while I'm sitting here today doing nothing, I, de I decided to give y'all a little tutorial on how I operate that camera and how I edit the video. So y'all stay tuned, man. We're gonna dive right in. All right, so this is the case that the GoPro 360 come in. Come with a nice little carrying case. Inside, you will get the GoPro 360. You will get a USB type C. Then it comes with one mount with a 3M adhesive on the back you can stick it on your kayak you can stick it on your boat your windshield you stick it on your ball cap or whatever and that's pretty much all it all it come with everything else you gotta buy separate like it come i had to buy this battery separate it do not come with a battery so this should go pro 360 right here people I took the back off because when I'm running my external battery, you can't run it with this with this flap on. So you have to take that flap off to run your external battery. Here go my external battery right here. It's an anchor. So this is your front lens right here. This is your back lens and your media screen. So let's turn this bad boy on. This is this your power button right here. You have a speaker 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 at the bottom. And I believe it's a speaker right here. This is, this is your power and your mode button. And this here is your record button. So let's turn this bad boy on. There it is. They got a bunch of different symbols on here for different things, but we're not going to get into all the features of, of the camera. This here is just a tutorial on how I edit the videos. So we'll get into all of that later. So what I do is you slide the screen up. And that'll take you to all of your videos. So what you have to do, you have to download all of your videos to your phone. 
to the GoPro app. So let me show you how I do that. Y'all stay tuned. Man, it's cutting up outside. All right, people, here we go. So here go your camera and here go, this is my cell phone. So in order to get your footage off of your GoPro 360, you have to download the GoPro Quick App, which is right there. Now, once you download that, it allows you to add multiple GoPro cameras. So what you have to do is you have to name all of your cameras. See this camera right here say cigars and books. That's my GoPro 9. You see it say not found because I don't have the camera turned on. You have to have the camera turned on in order for it to sync to your cell phone. So I got this camera on. So what I'll do, I just keep scrolling until I find that cam. And see there, there it is right there. I got this camera named Boss Man Cam. And so, it allows you to do, you know, different things. I can operate, I actually now, now that this camera is synced to my phone, I can actually operate this GoPro with my phone. And it also, it also allows you to live stream, view media, upload. I can record, take pictures or whatever. See, if I hit the, if I hit the record button on my phone, see, now my camera is recording. See that? So where is your content from your GoPro? It'll be right here. Where it say view media. So you wanna tap on that and what it's gonna do, it's gonna ask you to join. I see. Here go all my video clips. So let's see. Let's see if which one I want to find. Find one that's kind of short. Here go one that's a minute, a minute long. So we'll do this one. All right. So here goes a clip from when me and Jarrell was in the deer stand. So what you have to do now, you have to download this clip. So in order to do that, you hit your, you hit your little download symbol right here. See it download. We're gonna get this here chance to download. See there it say complete. Now once it once it's complete, you go right here where it say view media. So you go to view media. Once you hit view media, it's gonna take you to this point right here where it say all media. So everything I done downloaded will be right here. All the videos I done already downloaded. So you go in, you find your video. This the one I downloaded right here. So now this video is ready to be edited. So let me turn, uh, let me turn this phone this way. Let me move this box it's up too high.
All right, so everything we do now is gonna be on the phone. So to start edi editing this video, you have different symbols right here. You have your, you have your delete button right here. You have your trim and cut, trim and cut button right there. And that's your keyframe save button right there. And I'm not quite sure what this button is. I think that's the, uh, I think that's the horizon, horizon lock button. So what you want to do is you tap on your keyframe button and it's going to take you to the video. So now we are ready to start editing. So what you want to do first is you want to change your aspect ratio. So we're going to change our aspect ratio and that's, that's that button right here. And see it asks you what, what as, aspect ratio, ratio you want. 16 by nine, one by one, four by three and nine by 16. So before you edit your video, Make sure you know what aspect ratio you want to record in because every, how can I say this? Because every platform have different aspect ratios, but 16.9 over here is the normal for, uh, for widescreen, for all widescreens. You want, you want your aspect ratio to be 16 by nine. You know what I'm saying? All of these over here might be, this might be the aspect ratio for IG. This might be the aspect ratio for Facebook. This might be the aspect ratio for, for TikTok. So you got, you just have to know which one, uh, whichever one you need for, for your platform. All right. So once you do that, you, uh, you hit done. So right now we're ready to start editing. So everybody want to know, Hey man, how'd you get that camera to move around like this? Once you start editing, it allows you to move that video 360 degrees any way you want to with the tip of your finger. Look at that. I can move that video all the way around. All the way around. Up, you can move it up. I can move it down. I can look at the ceiling. I can look at the floor. I can look to the side, look to the left, look to the right. I can spin it around. Let me straighten it up. You can zoom in, you can zoom out. All right, so what we gonna do, so this bar right here, this is, I don't know what they call it, but I call it your keyframe bar. And this button, this symbol right here is your save, your save symbol. So, say I want to start, I want this video to start right here. So, I will tap save, and then this keyframe bar, however long you want this video to go without moving, that's what this bar is for. So say I want this video to go from this point to right here. So that video is going to start right here with the image you see now. And this is where it's going to stop right here. 
So I want this video, I want this clip to stop right here. But I want it, I want the picture to end over here. So you just slide it over here. I want it to look out this window right here. So you hit your check right here and that's going to save it. So now it's saved. So now you can go back and watch it play. There go your play button right here. Now you see how that, that camera turned? Let's go back and watch it again. So to, so to stop it, all you do is tap tap back on your symbol. So your next uh, your next keyframe, you want it, just say we want it to run that far or that long. So it's gonna start at the image you see now, but you want it to end right here. So you, you tap on it and save. But I wanna bring that camera back around to right here. And I want it to zoom in. You hit your check mark and save it. So it's saved. So now we're gonna go back, we're gonna watch the whole clip and watch what it and watch what it does. See that went back to me. Now you stop it. So you go to your next keyframe. You say, I want my next keyframe to stop right there. So you stop it right there, but I want it to end looking out this window over here. So you hit save. So now you go back to where it's gonna, it's gonna start right here. When you hit play, it's gonna go to that window. So you stop it. Tap on that button, it's gonna stop at that window. So you want your next keyframe Slide it over. You want your next. You want your next keyframe to stop right there. So you hit save. But you want it to pan around this way to right here. You hit save. You go back to. It's gonna take you back to the last point. You hit play and watch what it does. It's going to go to right there where you stopped it. So you hit stop. And on these, these, uh, these keyframe save buttons, the far, the farther you have them away from each other, the slower that camera is going to pan. But the closer, like right here, the closer you have them together, the faster it's going to move. So if you want it to move real fast and catch something real quick, you got to have it close like that. But if you want the camera to pan slow, you have to have them spread out like this here. So I'm gonna show you. So we're gonna go back to this clip. Well, this keyframe. We're gonna let it play, watch how slow it move. I'm gonna show y'all what'll happen when you put them close together. So we're gonna put it right there. 
gonna hit save. So I want I want this keyframe to go from this point to all the way back around here to right there. Hit save. Now we're gonna go back and let it play. It's gonna be real fast, so pay attention. That's the starting point right there. I'm gonna hit play and watch how fast that camera pan. See how fast it moved? So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back to the last key, the keyframe before that one. So you'll be able to see because it's moving so fast. So now we're gonna hit play and watch when it get to that point over there. See how fast that camera went back over there? That's what happens when you put them close together. We're gonna put another one close to that. Hit save, and I want it to go back over here to me, come back to me. So you hit save, and I'm gonna go back to this keyframe so you'll be able to see because it's gonna move too fast if I start them over here. So just watch it, watch the video. Watch how fast it moves. Bam, back over there and bam, back right there. See how fast that move? That's what happened when you put them close together. So we're gonna stop it right there. So just say we just, we just messing around, I'm just messing around with it now. So say we're gonna save right here and say I wanna look up at the ceiling. So I pull, I pull that video down to the ceiling and that go to ceiling right there. Now hit save. So you go back to the last keyframe, hit play, and watch what it do. It's gonna go up to the ceiling. And this video is a minute long, so, but that's pretty much how, how you operate this camera, people. So we're just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna just go ahead and finish it out and show y'all the rest. So I want it to stop right there from the, the last uh, point is the ceiling. So it's gonna go from the ceiling to back to me. So we're gonna run it this long, I'm gonna stop it right there. So I wanna come around and look out this window right here. Save. So it's gonna go from me to the window. All right, so I want it to go from the window back to me and zoom, so I'm gonna zoom it all the way out. Save. So it's gonna go, it's gonna go from the window to me, but it's gonna zoom all the way out. I'll just let this one play. See how it zoomed all the way out? Stop it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just end this video out. So once you get to the end, you just save it and it's at the end of the video. But at the end of the video, I want it to zoom in back to me, but over here. Save, so we're gonna go back to here, hit the video, hit play gonna come back to me and it's gonna go to the window. And that's how this video is gonna end, right there. So once you, if you happy with, let me go back. No, nope, I don't wanna say it. So if you, ha if you happy with all of your keyframes, See all of these, all of them symbols is your keyframe, your save, your, I call them save buttons. But each one of these is, each one of these is a keyframe. So if you happy with all of them, then right here you save.
You ain't gonna show. You save it. And right here it say render video. That just means save. It's downloading. So it's gonna download back to the phone. It's gonna count, it's gonna count up to a 100%. But while it's down low, y'all stay tuned. All right, we're back. So once it download, it's just gonna say successful, render successful. So now if we go down here where it say view video. We wanna view the video. So what it does it goes back to your all media where all of your saved videos at. So this is where all my saved videos at. So that video is right here. This, oh, this one right here, that's the original. This the original over here and this is the clip that you made. So now what you have to do you have to download this video again. So what you do, you hit your select button, you select your video, and you export it to your cell phone. So you hit export, and save to your photos, See it save. It says save successful complete. So now you can close it out. And now that video is saved to my cell phone. So now we're gonna go back. We're gonna go to my to my to my cell phone. We're gonna go to my my camera where I got my video saved. And there go that video right there. Let me go back. Look at that video right there, people. Now you see how that camera panning around? It's doing everything I told it to do. And that's it. That's the end of that video. And it's actually not a video. That's still just a clip. So let's go back. So a lot of people, a lot of people think editing is easy. It is if you're making a short video. But if you have, let's go back to my GoPro, GoPro app. You see all of these clips? All of these clips might be for one video. So I have to edit, I have to edit each one of these clips. I have to edit each one of them. That process I just went through, I have to do that. That process I just went through, I have to do that with each one of these. With all of these, you have to go, go through that same process. And once I do that, once I get all my clips together and once I get them saved to my phone, let's go back to the phone. Now once I get, once I get all my clips saved to my phone like this, like, uh, like this one, then I go to my editing software. The editing software that I use right now on my cell phone is, uh, Splice, there it is right there. 
That's what I edit my videos with, Splice. So let's go to Splice. So once you get the Splice, get in the Splice, this is how it's gonna look. It's just gonna say my, my projects, and this series all the videos I've not already made. So if you wanna create a new video, a new project, it's say new project. So we wanna start a new project. So I click on new project. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna go to all my videos, all my clips that I have saved. All of these are clips. So in order, so I find all of my clips from that one video and I, let me see. We're gonna start down. So just say, just say all of these are clips from a video. So what you do is, you tap on each one. Each one that's a clip for that, from that video, you tap on each one. Let me go back, I don't wanna put all this crap in there. Let me erase all of them. You just tap them and they erase. So, I'm gonna go to some of the clips from when me and Jarrell was in the stand. They up here. So I just tap on, tap on all of them clips. Then you hit next. Then once you hit next, it's gonna take you back to your aspect ratio. So we wanna go to YouTube. We wanna go to YouTube widescreen. I already got it on there. Then you hit create. So now, all of those clips are right here. All of those clips I saved are right here. So on this on this editing software, it allows you it allows you to trim and cut, or uh, you say or uh, chop you know chop the video up how you want to chop it up. You know what I'm saying? So right here, if you see me right here, so say I don't I don't want that part on there. Let me go back. Stop it. So say this video is right here. So that that yellow line right there, that is that is your reference reference point to where you're gonna chop that video off at. So say I don't want this part of the video, so I tap on it. And when I tap on it, it's going you have all these you have your I, these icons right here. I can extract, mute, split, replace, or delete. So if I don't want this part of the video, I hit split. So it split that part of the video from the rest of the, from the rest of the video. And so what you do, you tap on it again, and you hit delete. And once you hit delete. That part of the video is going to delete. Watch. See that that part of the video is now gone. And you have to do that. You have to go through your whole video and chop and edit it, edit it how you want how you want to. And once you do that, you have to go up here and hit Hit your, uh, I guess you could, that's your down, hit your download button, then it's gonna take you to, your frames, your frames per second. You want it 720, 
You want it 540, you want it 720, you want it HD 1080, or you want it 4K. So I want to download 4K 30 frames. So if that's how you want to down, if you that's how you want that video to download, then you hit save. Then that video is gonna start download. And once it download, it's gonna download and save to your cell phone again. And that's it, people. And that's that's the process you pretty much have to go through when you're using the GoPro 360. All right, people, well, that's pretty much it, man, on that process with the GoPro 360, man. That's that's one of the one of the downfalls about the camera. That's one of the things I don't like about the camera. The download, the download process, man, it's just long. You know what I'm saying? Your regular GoPro, it don't take that long to edit a video, but the GoPro 360, it takes a it takes a minute to edit. So if you're trying to get a video out real quick, I wouldn't advise you to use a GoPro 360. Man, it's cutting up out here. I need to hear him get my butt back in the house, but but yeah, man, that the GoPro 360 is a good camera. I like it, and then I don't like it. But what I do like about it, it catch it catch all your action, man. You, it's not gonna miss no action. Just a regular GoPro is only focused on one area, but with the GoPro 360, it's 360 degrees. It's not gonna miss no action. That's the only thing I like about it. And one, another thing I don't like about it, it don't shoot in 4K. It only shoot in 3K. It shoot in 5K, but if if you're not if you're not set up for 5K, your your computer or your TV or whatever might not accept it. So I have to shoot in 3K. That's the only thing I don't like about it. So they need to. So GoPro, GoPro, y'all need to come out with a 360 4K. I'll be waiting on it. I'll buy it. But for 499, the GoPro 360 it should have been 4K. So, but that's pretty much it, man. Get my butt on back in this house, man. I appreciate everybody watching. I hope y'all enjoyed the little tutorial. And stay tuned for the next video. I'm out. Peace.